Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is August 18th, 2024, and Flick has reportedly introduced a radical new method of recovery. Also, Barcelona need to determine what they're gonna do with Gerard Martin and Alex Bayer's futures. And finally, Bayern Munich have reportedly agreed to the loan of Kingsley Coman. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. everyone welcome to the channel my name is Mo and before we begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and drop a comment all of this helps this channel continue to grow also if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise make sure you hit the goal kit skip back or fanatics and if you are looking to place any sports bets make sure you hit the bet us all links are down below in the description now I begin this video with the news that Robert Lewandowski has surpassed Johan Cruyff as far as goals scored. Now in yesterday's match against Valencia, Robert Lewandowski scored a brace bringing his total goals with Barcelona to 61 goals in 96 matches and with this Lewandowski has surpassed Johan Cruyff's record of scoring 60 goals in 180 matches. So Lewandowski breaking Cruyff's record in half the amount of matches which goes to show that even though many people believe that Lewandowski is done and that he needs to leave, the Polish striker continues to find the back of the net and continues to defy all odds at his age of 36 years old. Now more news or more good news because it's reported that Fermin Lopez is set to rejoin his teammates during next week. Now our gold medalist who also participated in the Euros and won the Euros with Spain was ordered by the club to take at least a one week vacation because Fermin Lopez wanted to come back as soon as possible but Barcelona said no, you need vacation, you need to recover. And well now after taking his one week vacation it's being reported that Fermin Lopez will be back on August 20th. So that's Tuesday. Tuesday Fermin Lopez will be getting reincorporated to the team's training which is great news because Fermin Lopez had a wonderful last season and even a better summer. So I'm very excited to see him back on the team even though it will cause a huge headache and a huge problem for Flick who is going to have to determine who, who will start in that attack in midfield position. But of course, that's a problem that any coach would like to have. Now, speaking of Flick, it's reported that the German coach has introduced a new recovery method. It's a new radical recovery method called hypoxia, which helps players recover much faster, enhances muscle recovery to be more specific, and also includes blood circulation or improves blood circulation. Now this method called hypoxia is a method where players wear special masks as you can see in a, uh, on a picture in your screen. And what this mask does, it reduces the amount of oxygen that players breathe. And what this does, it forces the body to produce more red blood cells and hemoglobin. And of course these cells are crucial for transporting oxygen. So by doing this, it improves the recovery time, it makes the recovery time much quicker and also improves performance. It's kind of like when uh, players train with altitude masks where it restricts the oxygen to them and therefore it makes their body work harder, improving their stamina, improving their circulation and improving also the movement of oxygen throughout their body. Now Hansi Flick had introduced this method back when he was at Bayern Munich and it's one of the reasons that, or it's one of the reasons that's being credited to the success of Bayern Munich because we all know how well conditioned those players were when Flick was the coach of the Bundesliga club. And now it's also being reported that Real Madrid have recently introduced their method into their trainings as well. So it's really good to see Flick continuing to revolutionize how our players train and how our players get prepared for matches. Now more news because it's reported that Barcelona are gonna have to determine what to do with Gerard Martin and Alex Baye 
before the end of the summer transfer market. Now, Gerard Martin surprised us all during the preseason with his really good performances and he even surprised us yesterday where he took the place of Alejandro Valde and continued to do a great job on the left back position. And while the news is that Gerard Martin's contract expires at the end of this season, so summer of 2025, so Barcelona are gonna have to be quick to decide on whether to extend the contract of Gerard Martin or whether to opt out for the other option for the left back position, which of course is Alex Baye, whose release clause has decreased to 3 million euros. And Barcelona are gonna have to decide on whether to extend the contract of Alex Baye, send them out, uh, transfer them out on a permanent basis and bet on Gerard Martin or whether to renew the contract of Gerard Martin and figure out what to do with Baye. But again, Barcelona definitely have a problem that any club would love to have as they have two quality substitutes for Alejandro Valde and Barcelona are gonna have to choose which one it will be. Now we will end today's video with the news that Bayern Munich have agreed to the loan of Kingsley Coman. Now Kingsley Coman is prioritizing leaving Bayern Munich and in fact his agent offered the player to Barcelona when the whole Nico Williams fell, uh, fell through and Coman's agent informed Barcelona that Bayern Munich would be open for a loan and while now that's being confirmed that Bayern Munich are indeed open to a loan they would of course much prefer to offload Kingsley Coman on a permanent basis they would want around 40 to 50 million euros but given his constant injuries Bayern Munich know that this task will be a very difficult one and as such they are now open to a loan which would open the door to Barcelona to sign Kingsley Coman because after spending 55 million on Dani Olmo they don't have much money left to make a big signing like that of Coman but a loan would be much easier for Barcelona to afford which begs the question of course would you guys like to see Kingsley Coman at Barcelona you know we all know that he's one hell of a player if he stays healthy but that of course is one big if because Kingsley Coman has dealt with a lot of injuries so what do you guys think Barcelona should do should they sign Coman alone should they not let me know down below anyways that is all the news for this video I did upload a video before this one, lots of news in that one, including Ilkay Gundogan's news, so make sure you check it out. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, and as always, peace, Barça.